Having your cake and eating it too can be pretty tough to pull off, and that's especially true when it comes to computer components, where builders have to deal with the eternal balancing act between price and performance. In particular, storage prevents us with two diametrically opposing choices. Do I want the speed of an SSD for a higher price, or the capacity of a hard drive, with the caveat that it comes with slower performance? Although most desktop cases can easily fit one of each, which is indeed a popular compromise, what if you have a laptop with only one drive slot, or you just really care about having your OS and a few important applications launch quickly, and you don't mind waiting a few extra seconds to load your Steam library or all that unfinished fan art you've been working on? In that case, a solid state hybrid drive or an SSHD might be the right choice for you. They aren't called that because they just run off a mix of gasoline and electricity. Just think of the fumes that would build up inside your case. But because they contain both spinning disk platters like you'd find in a traditional hard drive and the same NAND flash in a controller that you would find in an SSD. Outwardly, hybrid drives might seem very similar to regular hard drives. They use the same 2.5 or 3.5 inch form factor and plug into a single SATA port, but inside, a special controller manages both the NAND flash and the magnetic platters, so the hybrid drive appears as just one drive to your operating system, rather than as a separate hard drive and SSD. The firmware is also in charge of determining what data will be stored in the flash cells for quicker access and what will instead be placed onto the slower spinning platters. Over time, the drive will actually learn what files are accessed most frequently and will automatically place those files in flash memory for you. No input from the user required. Of course, the all-in-one convenience of a hybrid drive does come with some limitations. The flash memory capacity is usually quite small, typically no more than 32 gigabytes. So if you need quick access to lots of programs and data, a full-fat SSD paired with a conventional hard drive may be a better setup for you. Hybrid drives also won't give you the performance boost from the flash storage right off the bat, since they have to take time to learn what data should be put in the NAND cells for quick access. They start out being not much, if at all, faster than a regular mechanical drive, and you unfortunately cannot manually tell a typical SSHD to place specific things onto the flash portion. Still though, you get the advantages of paying much less than you would for a standalone solid state drive, as well as ease of use for novice builders or tinkerers who want a performance boost without having to deal with multiple drives or deciding what needs to go where on their own. So if you need a lot of relatively cheap storage with a little extra pep for your next upgrade, don't overlook hybrid drives. After all, they're not just for Prius drivers. Speaking of your next upgrade, let's say, for example, you're building a mobile app and you're looking for a payment solution so you can monetize your mobile app. Check out Braintree at the link in the video description. Their V.0 SDK is one amazingly simple integration that gives you, more accurately, the people who use your app, every way to pay. And developers around the world have embraced the V.0 SDK as the easiest way to add secure mobile payments to their apps and websites. Braintree accepts Apple Pay, Android Pay, PayPal, Venmo, credit cards, even Bitcoin. And if something new pops up, they're going to support that too. And they're used by Uber, Airbnb, and GitHub, which means, yeah, my friends, it is scalable. And integrating it into your app is as easy as inserting a few lines of code. Try out the sandbox, learn more about Braintree, and get this, get your first $50,000 in transactions fee-free at braintreepayments.com slash techwiki, linked in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you want to check out our other channels, boom, you can check them out over there, the little eye in the corner. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future facets possible. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow, and all that good stuff.